Welcome back to Consecutive Day 686 of a Diary of a Rumpreneur. Please remember that this vlog is part of the Rumpreneur Challenge, which is my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. Find out more about the challenge, how you can support it. Check the links in the comments below. Um, but do be so kind to give this a share and a, and a lot and a subscribe to the channel as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise. Thanks for your support and let's get started. So, consecutive day 686 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And it's uh, Easter Sunday today, so happy Easter. First and foremost, you will probably see this a month behind, as I'm normally about a month ahead on my recordings, um, than what you see when it gets published. But um, yeah, it's a, an evening run today, half past, half past seven, as I'm trying to run off the huge amounts of, of Easter Sunday roast and Easter eggs and chocolates and snacks that people generally associate with, with Easter. We've done it all. Uh, had um, 18, we cooked for 18 today, which is a, a big old number of people to cook for. And uh, well, I say, we, my wife pretty much did most of it. Um, but either way, it's been nice to spend a lovely family, family day with family with some so we've become so accustomed to to kind of missing out on these these uh, family gatherings in the most recent couple of years due to covid so it's been lovely to have everyone around and everybody fit and healthy which is uh most important and um yeah so i'm out running today to try and run it off and it's a hard graft and i'm not gonna lie i feel like i haven't fully digested the mountains of food i've eaten and junk food I've eaten in particular, chocolates, cakes, all these types of things. Um, so yeah, I feel inevitably a bit sluggish. I'd like to give it another hour really before I run, but uh, the daylight is fast going. So I thought I'd just get out there and try and run without getting a stitch. That was the, that was the aim for today. But, um, but yeah, hopefully this will clear me up and uh, I might have a gin or two when I get back. But um, other than that, it's just been a lovely family day. Just preparing for everyone coming round. Uh, did a little bit of DIY plaster boarding this morning um, around the fitted wardrobe, trying to get it looking nice and flush. So uh, I'm still DIYing away in my spare time. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's just been a lovely relaxing weekend. We've still got Bank Holiday Monday or Easter Monday tomorrow to look forward to. So it'll be much, much the same as we gear up for a busy week back at work. So short of tweet today, that's pretty much it for me. As always, any questions or comments, drop me a line, I'll respond to everyone. Please remember that the Rumpen Challenge is part of the fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. I'm just running past some people, so just bear with me a second. Evening. So yeah, so do subscribe to the channel and, uh, and give this a share with the more people we get in front of the more money we raise. I'm also running a campaign called Caffeine for Kevin, which is a, a sustainable fundraising campaign for people to support the challenge without having too big an impact on their finances. And um, the process is simple. If you can donate me a cup of a coffee, the price of a cup of coffee, uh, once a month, whether it's a cheap cup, a pound, or a more expensive one, up to five pounds. Um, this is life-changing money um, to the children I'm, I'm supporting. One pound a month, over the course of this challenge, we'll raise around about 120 pounds, two pounds, 240, five pounds, close to kind of 500 pounds, which is life-changing sums of money to children who need it. So we call it caffeine for Kevin because um, even though metaphorically speaking, I won't get to drink those cups of coffee you donate or the price of the cups of coffee you donate, um, it will still give me a caffeine boost as I see that money trickling, trick, trickling in to the support the charities. Um, it just gives me that boost to keep running because it's a hard slog and seeing that money come in that makes such a difference to those who need it the most gives me that boost to keep going. So uh, check out the links below for how to support. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy. I'll see you again tomorrow.